welcome Aquarians let's see what is coming out for you guys in love in this month all right so um, this is really um, um, a sort of a period um, it is going to be coming up for the month of January so let's see what is coming up for you guys in the month of love so what we see for you Aquarians unrequired love there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so a lot of you are going to be having this to deal with it could be a marriage it could be a relationship however this is going Aquarians you're going to be having this sort of issues this sort of a problem um, that is going to be coming up and transpiring so be aware of this so then we see there is going to be some sort of an issue when it comes on um, to money and it's going to be affecting a lot of the um, working woman relationship is uh, being affected by money. Um, some of you could be seeing a much younger person and this person is going to be trying to extort you out of a whole, a whole lot of money. And I see that um, some of you men between the ages of uh, 18 and 35 are having some sort of uh, issues and uh, you're recognizing that there was no love in the relationship. Um, the relationship was just based on financial stability. And I see that this is where some of you are going to be recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring. And you're going to be dealing with this in another way where you're going to be recognizing that uh, um, if this is only based on only um, um, money and materialistic wealth, let me just start dating um, random people. So I see a lot of you men in, uh, you know, dealing with this issue of recognizing that you um, were dating people, but these people were not interested in relationship. They were only interested in having some sort of uh, dating and not recognizing that uh, you were looking for love, but they were only looking for money and materialistic stability. A lot of you working women are going to be dating. I see a lot of people are going to be wanting to date in a lot of you women. Uh, I see a lot of you working ladies is going to be recognizing that it's time you, you need to go back on the dating market. So that is um, very good for you to do. You're going to be recognizing that dating is going to be one of the most uh, important thing for a lot of you. So this is going to be good. Past life uh, people, some of you um, could be, uh, you know, reconnecting with people from the past and could be ending up marrying. OK, so um, a lot of you past love could be coming back uh, and uh, you're going to be ending up marrying to these people and recognizing what is going on. I see a lot of people who are married or kind of, um, you know, seeing other people behind the scenes because um, some of you might get bored of your marriage or your relationship. And I see that this is something that is has been creating a lot of issue. And I see that some of you are going to be recognizing um, that it is better for you yet to, you know, test the fields, test the water, have some fun, um, you know, it's just fun, not anything serious. And um, the focus is on working women, um, professional women, um, is, uh, and, and working women. That is uh, the focus of this love reading. And what we recognize is, is that a lot of you women are high professional. You're going to be having a lot of fun. You have the money, um, you know, whatever way you're finding your fun, whether um, it's uh, on a dating side, that sort of a situation or um, you know, connecting, mingling, um, getting connected and mingle with people. I see that this is something that is going to be coming up for a lot of working women that you're going to be, you know, recognizing that, hey, I'm uh, financial stable and I am going to be really um, going in this, that direction in order um, to find love for myself or to enjoy myself, whether or not I'm in a relationship or not. So I see um, a lot of you could uh, ex could be coming back, um, and you're recognizing this that a lot of you uh, ex could be coming back. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you're recognizing that an uh, ex could be coming back, and that is going to be um, the love of your life. And that person is the person you're going to be getting married to, and uh, um, 
a lot of you, I, I, um, a past love could be coming back and you're going to be starting dating this person before you get back involved with this person, okay? Um, a lot of heartbreaks is going to be coming up uh, um, when it comes to money. I see a lot of you men between the ages of 18 and 35 is open for, um, you know, just open for having fun and not looking for a serious relationship. But working women, I see you're definitely, definitely going to be um, going out on dates and is going to be, you know, dating a lot of people and enjoying yourself. And, you know, basically, um, it is good for you. And that is going to be really wonderful and positive. Okay. So that is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. And that is going to be good for a lot of you. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see the extended of this reading, follow us to the other side. If not, please like, share, thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, these videos are, um, you know, a c accumulation of the air sign, but you're having your own, um, videos. If you really want to see the extended of your video, or you want to see what's coming up for the other air signs, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, use the stamp stamp in order to acquire where they are in these videos. I gotta go. Namaste. Until next time. Welcome, Geminis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Geminis. Let's see what is happening. What is transpiring and what is going on in your reader, Geminis? So, 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 Geminis. Wow. So, whatever is happening and transpiring, Geminis, let's look and see what is coming up in your love readings um, for this timeline. Okay, whenever you pick it up, it's the time that you should recognize this. So we see reconciliation. Someone from the past is returning um, to your life. And this is going to be good. Gemini, whatever that was happening and transpired. I see you're communicating with someone who you have known from past life. That is going to be coming in your life, Gemini. So whoever is looking for love, um, someone um, is going to be returning. Then I see a lot of you women wants to be free. A lot of you women are just clustered by your relationship or in the house, whatever is happening and transpire. I see a whole lot of you women just want to be free, just want to be, you know, free to do, um, free out of a relationship, free out of a marriage, whatever is transpiring. A lot of you women just wants to be free. You want to be free. You want to get out of a relationship of a marriage and you just want to let go. Some of you are waiting for some sort of a divorce. Um, to come in. A lot of you Gemini men are going to be meeting a new love. A lot of Gemini men. And you were destined to be with this person. So it could be a new love or it could be someone who is coming back from the past. You can see this, that some of you are going to be re um, reconciliating with someone you know from the past. And some of you Gemini men, new love is going to be coming in. Okay, A new person has um, stir. Um, your romantic um, feelings and I see you Gemini man was destined to be with this person a lot of you that have been in a horrible relationship you can see the darkness and the shadows around you especially you women are going to be freeing yourself some, from some sort of a relationship some sort of a marriage some of you could be waiting on divorce to come up and you're going to be freeing yourself because you recognize uh, that is this time for you to free yourself from whatever is happening and transpiring. You're recognizing that time is here where you need to complete a cycle when it comes up uh, to relationship and uh, your world and you're recognizing this and you are flying the cope because it's as if you want to free yourself from whatever um, this darkness that you have been in, whether it's a relationship, a marriage, um, you're recognizing this. So then we see that you ladies are communicating. Someone new could be coming in. It could be another air sign person, uh, an Aquarian or a Libran. And I see a whole lot of communication is coming up there. So that is very good. So a lot of you could be reconnecting with um, someone. Um, um, some of you could be um, you know, like texting back and forward with a doctor, someone in the medicine field. I see this person have some sort of an interest in you. 
and I see that this person wants to, um, you know, either reconnect with you or wants to come in as a love partner to you because uh, um, there is something about you and this person and you um, or recognizing that there is some sort of a connection between you and this person. You're feeling the connection. And this is coming up as a doctor, whatever field this doctor is in. Uh, a lot of you doctors uh, have your eyes on someone and uh, your heart, your, it's like your heart flicker when um, this person comes in um in your present and, and it could vice versa that this doctor or whoever this person is you know some sort of a um flickering intention is there when this person comes in your presence so i see a lot of you could be meeting a doctor it could be also a lawyer but whoever this person is is as if their heart skip a beat when you're in their present and i see you two were destined to be together with this person whatever is happening and transpiring um, you both were destined to be together. And I see you're going to be both recognizing this and understanding um, that it is as if the universe bring both of you together. So this is absolutely wonderful and powerful. I see destiny. A lot of you were destined, especially you men. Um, um, and if you're a lawyer's doctor, so you were destined to be with this person because this person is recognizing a whole lot that has been happening and transpiring and recognizing that you are going to be the one and you're going to be the person um, for them or you are going to be recognizing that someone is going to be coming in and you all were destined to be together. So that is going to be good. The energy with the wallflower is that a lot of you women want to break free. You recognize that you're too long in a um, some sort of a um, relationship and it is destined for you to free yourself, free yourself from this relationship because it's not serving you and another person. Anything is as if you have worked through all your karmas uh, and you need to free yourself. So I see some sort of a past life issues uh, um, where you're recognizing that uh, you need to release yourself and um, you know, adjust and apply new things. Communication is going to be the key. And it's as if you are destined to release yourself out of uh, this relationship because as if this relationship has caused uh, a lot of you unpleasantness, but yet still you're recognizing that there is nothing else in this relationship anymore to keep this relationship going. So I see... um uh, your message is going to be, rec um, you know, reconciliation. And with the reconciliation, some of you are going to be reconciliating with a past love. This could be someone you have known in this lifetime, or this is someone that is going to be coming in from out of a past lifetime, okay? So this is really a wonderful, um, wonderful um, situation. I see you're going to be freeing yourself, um, from some sort of a past uh, relationship uh, um, where you still have a connection holding on and you're going to be recognizing it's about time I let this go because I'm just holding on on something that is not there. So, you know, reconnection is that, um, reconciliate is that a whole lot of you might want to reconciliate. Some of you might not want to reconciliate. It's as if you you constantly have connection with this person and it's as if you're trying to figure out whether or not you should um, take a chance on this person. And I think you need to give it time because if it didn't work out in the past, uh, I don't think anything is going to change uh, um this now in the future only if you were the one that was that has walk away then you need to reconnect and heal this because i think that whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring um you were destined to be with this person you have been this person in past lifetime and i see that it's someone that is coming back that you were destined to be with so um you know you are now recognizing um like what is happening in your world? You're recognizing that this is a time where you're going to be making some sort of a decision, some sort of a connection, and is figuring out, you know, what decision to make, um, why, 
you are where you are at at this time. A lot of you women is going to be taking the time to recognize I need to free myself from a, a relationship, someone who has been controlling me or a relationship that, uh, you know, we, 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 we recognize that there is uh, um, nothing more um, in this relationship, nothing more that is happening and is transpiring in this relationship. And I see, um, you know, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. All of a sudden, I get this sadness um, for you guys. I got this sadness. It's like I, I saw something coming up like I have the sadness. But, you know, the thing about it when we look at this is like a lot of women, um, a lot of you women could be meeting either a doctor, a lawyer, or someone in the, um, some eye professional person, you know, really wants to be with you, really, um, you know, recognize something in you um you know this person is as if whenever you're in the presence of this person and sometimes it's kind of weird because sometimes like doctors and high professional people is always so, so busy with their work and never ever you know have time to have relationship but i think all of a sudden all of a sudden you know they you know they have a patient or that sort of a thing could be you also that have a patient and is recognizing jesus um when this person is around how you feel about this person and you know you're going to be um you know you don't want to go and break the rules but the feelings is so strong that you're going to be wondering what this person you know, they're what they feel. So I see some of you might be giving your personal number to a patient or someone who you connect with. I got to go. If you want to see the extended of this reading, follow me to the other side. Namaste until next time. Right, Librans, let's see what's coming up for you, Librans. All right. So, um, Librans, um, what we're recognizing is that there is going to be some sort of a relationship situation that is happening and transpiring and what we're recognizing is that uh, some of you could be getting engaged so congratulations for the women women um 50 years and older could be getting engaged some of you married women or engaged women is going to be finding out that your partner is in an open relationship um with a young woman so recognize that so if you're married or you're engaged a lot of you women would be recognizing that your partner is in an open relationship with a younger woman so this is going to be something that is going to be coming up in this um, period then we see the energy of passion a lot of you passions is here and you could be getting someone pregnant or um a lot of you who have kids could be in some sort of a passionate relationship and i see um honesty um you need to have an honest discussion about how you feel about children so a lot of you could be in some sort of a passionate relationship and uh, you need to be honest to your partner and let your partner be aware of um you know where you're going um you know what you think about kids uh, what you think about you know marriage that sort of a situation because a lot of you could be an open marriage okay so i see a lot of you liberals are going to be thinking about going in open marriage because a lot of you are open or in some sort of a, um engagement and uh, is yet still seeing people that you're having some sort of a passionate relationship with you have to make a decision what you want to do, what direction to go in. So I see the spirit is going to be letting some of you Libra and recognize that uh, um, some sort of a decision needs to be made. Whether or not you're going to stay in your um, marriage or whether or not you're going to be asking to be in an open marriage because you are finding passion somewhere else. A lot of you older women are going to be recognizing that there is a younger woman that is in your life. And I see that some of you women need to have a heart to heart. A lot of you younger women that have children, you need to have some sort of honest discussion with your partner in order to, you know, kind of figure out what it is that your partner is looking for. And, um, you know, you know how your partner see you moving forward um especially younger women with kids because younger women with kids have a whole lot of question 
um, to do with uh, um, your partner. Um, a lot of you already have kids and you're having this passionate uh, um, connection with other people and you have to discuss uh, um, you know, what is their plans in moving forward? Is it all about the passion or is there some sort of a future development that is going to be coming up for you guys? So, you know, this is a time when we're all kind of sitting back, recognizing what is happening and what is transpiring, what direction my relationship is going in. Um, you know, what it is that I want. A lot of you younger women are in open relationship and having a lot of passion but yet still you have a relationship with a child's father so this is a very confusing period that is going to be coming up for a lot of you a lot of you women 50 years and older could be getting engaged um a lot of you um you know really recognizing that uh, um maybe marriage is the best thing for you um so i see a lot of uh, you are going to be uh, you know ask the end of engagement and this could be coming up because this is going in middle of january going into february so your love life is going to be ascending to a higher level of commitment so women 50 years and older or 45 years and older you're going to be recognizing that you're relationship is going to be um, moving in a higher level of commitment and this is going to be absolutely wonderful and fantastic a lot of you have been basically looking for that when we look at women 25 to 45 years old 18 25 to 45 years old you're thinking about open relationship because um, some of you young ladies are in relationships, but it's not fulfilling. And a lot of you young ladies are going to be thinking about are is in you know, seeing other people. So I see that they're going to be recognized that and is going to be finding out and recognizing what is going on. So women, this is coming up as women 25 to 45. I see you're going to be thinking about having open relationships because some of you are in relationships with your um, children father but it's not fulfilling and there is someone else outside and I see the passion is very high between you and this person a lot of married people are going to be considering um to have kids and a lot of married people are staying in their marriage because they have young kids kids um who are between the ages of uh, zero and 18 and you want these kids uh, to grow up so a lot of you married people who are in open relationship i see you're changing the um frequency from a marriage to an open relationship because you're recognizing that um you know that's the direction for you you're recognizing that uh, you know being in a marriage uh, but yet still not um you know uh, you know uh, getting what you want the passion um, the happiness and it's more of passion I think that some of you just want some sort of a passion in your life and you are going to be looking out of the marriage and the relationship in order to balance out um, what is missing in your own marriage so I see a lot of you could be turning your relationship to the dimension of marriage and I see that this is happening now a uh, situation with kids so a lot of married people who have kids is going to be um, choosing to be in open marriage instead of you're going to be divorcing. And I think that that is much better for you guys until the kids are old enough and you guys can separate if you want. But I see a lot of you liberals and I think this is a, a thing with liberals. They like to be in a relationship. So um, that is not controlling and that they're not controlled or powered by another person. And this is a characteristic of liberals. Liberals, um, you know, they can be in a marriage and if they're not uh, um, finding what they're looking for in a marriage, they always, uh, um, you know, go outside of the marriage in order to seek that, but is still keeping their marriage intact, okay? Because a lot of liberals can cheat on you and you never know that this person is cheating on you. So, 
Um, these are wonderful information, wonderful alignment of energies that is coming out because this is actually exhilarating you in a very positive way. Um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing, you know, where you are when it comes on to marriage, relationship, um, you know, being engaged. Some of you have been in a long engagement and you're going to decide to tie the knot um, in February, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be big. It's as if you have been waiting. You never know when this uh, um, shutdown and this virus thing is going to be over. And I see some of you are going to be saying, hey, let's tie the knot. Let's make it uh, um, official um, because we never know what to, tomorrow has to bring. And I see that this is going to be something that is going to be transpiring. So. I really, really love this for you, Librans. Um, you know, and Librans are people that uh, um, sometimes, uh, um, you know, you Librans know exactly what you want. You Librans know exactly what you're looking for. And I see that this is good because this is going to be so exhilarating you in such a powerful way that you're going to be recognizing where you are and who you are and making the right decision. So a lot of you ladies could all of a sudden out of the blues is going to be asked the ends of marriage. Your partner wants to make this official and bring it to another level. And I see this is going to be absolutely fabulous. A lot of you did not see this coming in. A lot of young women, you're going to be, you know, you're feeling okay being in a a closed relationship and I see that that is okay um you know <laughs> it, it, it is who you are um just be who you are accept who you are and recognize uh, where you are and the space you're in and recognize this for yourself okay all right if you'd like to see the uh, extended of this reading please use uh, um, the, the link, um, to join the channel and see the extended. If not, please thumbs up, share these videos, and I'd love to see you on the other side. If not, uh, I am saying namaste until next time.